Hello YouTube, it's Austin with another Project 24 update. In this update, I'm going to update you on four sites for the week of August 24th of through August 30th. Let's get started. I just want to provide a quick recap and overview of what Project 24 is. If you're not familiar, if you're new to this channel, um, usually I do a weekly, monthly, and um, we'll say like a, a start to current. Project 24 is a course in content marketing. Um, originally when I started September 7th of 2018, it was a course to help you learn and get better at blogging. Since that time, they have created a number of additions to the site. I believe there are about 14 different mini courses in the course, which include blogging, um, a free theme, um, avocado theme that they've given us. It's an incredible theme. It's a WordPress theme that is much faster than the normal, typical WordPress themes that are out there. And they've actually created a, a, a mini course on YouTube. So how to get better, how to get found, how to get traction on YouTube. You can use the YouTube course to help grow your blogging business, or you can actually use it as a standalone, um, YouTube growth, YouTube, um, channel. So that is basically what Project 24 is. In addition to those three, uh, there are a number of different features that they offer, um, a, a weekly podcast exclusive for Project 24 members. Um, there's also a community in there where you can ask questions and get help and get more, um, I don't want to say instant um, or an actual relationship with the owners of, of Project 24, uh, Jim and Ricky, but they do pop in from time to time and they have a team of people that support and answer questions that are only for Project 24 students. So there is a link, I believe it's the second link in the description. If you are interested and you want to learn more about Project 24, click that second link to get started right away. All right. So here on this is my largest site i have about uh i want to say somewhere between 95 and 100 blog posts i currently have about um, i want to say somewhere between 35 and 40 youtube videos uh, i don't disclose the niche there was a question about that uh in one of my other videos that's one thing that i don't do i don't discuss the niche um but I do talk about the plan. The plan going forward is to keep continue to add YouTube videos. But as you can see on the screen here, I have 40, 474 page views, 237 unique views, average time on page 29 seconds, a bounce rate of 15.12 and an exit of 43.25. Now this site actually does have the avocado theme. Um, and I have noticed a significant reduction in my bounce rate since I've added that theme. Uh, before I had X theme for those that are keeping track. All right, so this is where my traffic comes from. I would say in the last maybe three or four months, the traffic has turned from direct to organic, which is a good thing. The one thing that is, is strange to me, I went back and, I, and I've taken a look, and um, what is really strange to me is that there is a difference between my views that are recognized from Google Organic that are on here and the Google Search Console. There is a stark difference between what, what's being reported here uh, on, on Google Analytics versus what is being reported on um, Google Search. So uh, the, these numbers probably aren't correct. For example, the direct seems high. Some of that is actually Google Organic. That's the only thing that makes sense. So if you're, if you're looking at your analytics, always compare them to Google Search because there are two different numbers there. Um, obviously the only people that would know why that is, is Google, but getting back to it, even with Google, um, those numbers not quite being correct. <clears throat> you can see my, my traffic primarily comes from Bing, Yahoo, DuckDuckGo, and I do a lot of Quora. I do a lot of answering questions on Quora and that number is pretty consistent. Um, and then Facebook, YouTube, as you can see, I get some traction from YouTube and then uh, Facebook again. So this is my traffic, uh, and this is where people are coming from. Now, I like to include my my geography because this will give you an idea of the type of people that are visiting your site. Are people just looking for information, or are they consumers? If you're doing affiliate marketing, obviously you want a good mix of consumers. You probably want more consumers than people that are just looking for information because those people ultimately are going to want to buy. People that are just looky lose or, or looking for information, looking to learn more, usually aren't going to buy in the first spin or two. That's why email marketing is so important. So this is site number one. Site number two, uh, this site was created, started October 25th of 2018. Um, I have I have just over, probably somewhere between 35 and 45 blog posts. Um, 
this is I'm missing a page here. Anyway, this is basically the, the important information. As you can see with um, the, the traffic, Google has no issue with this site. Um, someone asked earlier why my, my page views were down on the other site. I personally believe that it has something to do with your money or, or your life. Um, it's, it's, and it's on the fringe of health, wealth, and relationships, I believe. And so that could be a reason why I'm not seeing the success that I'm looking for on that first site. And quite honestly, my first 30 blog posts, uh, the keyword research probably wasn't as good as it could have been. Um, and I've made some effort to correct that on my, on my um, second and third go around, which is why you see the traffic where it is. It's picking up. We're getting to that stage where some of the, the, um, the keywords are getting to the eight, eight or nine month realm. So that that's something to keep in mind as well. And that's why the, the traffic seems to be growing a little bit. When I do the, 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 um, the month and the, the, the progress to date, you'll actually see that a little bit more that the traffic is starting to pick up, um, substantially when compared to even two or three months ago. So be on the lookout for that. That will be coming sometime, sometime in September, uh, probably mid or in, end of September. Um, I'll be doing a August wrap up, we'll call it, and we'll do like a one year anniversary. So make sure that you stay tuned for that. Anyway, getting back to this, um, Google 70, uh, Direct 11, uh, Yahoo, Facebook, Bing, DuckDuckGo, and Facebook again. Uh, one of the reasons why Facebook is so prominent and even social media is probably a little bit higher than some of the other avenues is I actually use a plugin called Blog to Social. I've talked about Blog to Social at length throughout my um, YouTube videos on Project 24. Basically, Blog to Social is a plugin that will, will fan out your, your blog post. I actually have a number of blog posts scheduled through for, for 52 weeks. I don't know where I am on, on that cycle. Um, there's a free version and a premium version. It's one of the few premium plugins that I've actually paid for. And the interesting thing is that I've actually disabled blog to social on all of my, my websites and it's still sending out the, um, it's still sending out the notifications in the post. So definitely check that out if you are interested for a slightly easier way to get your content out there without having you, without having to manually upload your, your content on every social media platform. Blog to social could be a good opportunity for you. This isn't a sponsorship or an ad. It's just something that I use to, um, help me out a little bit. All right. So, and this is where my content or my, my traffic comes from. I, I believe this is probably a good mix. This is a good representation of the, the type of content, the field that it's in. Um, so that is site number two. Site number three, and this actually, this website is called learnkenosha.com. It is a travel site that started off as a directory site. If you navigate to it, it has a number of listings and directories for restaurants in Kenosha, where, which is where I'm from. Um, and so the idea behind the site was to sell ad space. Um, it's not your typical affiliate marketing based site. It's more of a travel site. Um, I could add affiliate marketing opportunities like hotels.com or something like that going forward, uh, places to stay and work with, with businesses directly in the, in the area. But it started off as a directory site in which um, I would sell ad space to, to, to lo local restaurants and make money that way. I had only recently started adding content, adding blog posts as a way to get traffic, organic traffic. And as you can see, the traffic is, is a little bit down. And again, we'll look at that at the year end uh, or the one year anniversary, I guess we'll call it. Um, but again, it's mostly organic traffic, organic, direct and social. And um, you can see it, most of the traffic comes from Google followed by Bing and then Facebook once again. And then anything outside of, I would say the Midwest is probably going to be someone trying to hack the site or, or maybe not hack the site, but um, anything outside of the U.S. for sure, most likely they don't know anything about Kenosha or wouldn't really be interested in, in Kenosha unless they were like a foreign exchange student or something, something wild and random. All right. And then this site is my smallest site. It has less than 15 blog posts, but I do like to show it as more maybe like an incentive for someone that's just getting started with Project 24. You can start seeing traffic 
um, as long as you're doing the correct keyword research and you start putting content up. Um, again, this only has less than 10, 10, um, less than 10, 15 blog posts. It doesn't have any images. It only has a logo. It has a plain background. Um, I don't even know, think it has affiliate links. Maybe I've added them. I don't know. I don't, I don't remember, but I haven't touched the site in a number of months. This site I started back in. I started adding content, I think, back in February for this site, and I, I haven't touched it since. Um, but 120 page views, 111 unique views, average time on page, 8 minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, this actually uses X theme as well, not the new avocado, avocado theme. As you can see, all of the traffic comes from Google search, a few from direct, and a few from referral. And then, as you can see, Google, direct, Bing, DuckDuckGo. Um, AOL, I didn't know people still used AOL, but they do, and then Yahoo. And then finally, this is where the traffic comes from, United States, United Kingdom, first world countries, or developed countries, depending on, on your terminology. But this is a good indication of the type of people that are coming to the site. Make sure that you check back next week. I have, will have another update, as I always do. And then in, in September, I'll have an August wrap-up, and I'll have a yearly wrap-up, a year anniversary. And then feel free to ask me questions. Comment below if you want me to answer a, a, a direct question. Um, I know one question that, that comes up frequently is, how much money have I made? Um, I actually I don't keep track of that. Um, it's probably not where it should be for a few reasons. Biggest reason is keyword research. Another reason, quite honestly, is Amazon has again changed their affiliate marketing payouts or commissions. It used to be between four and 10%. Now it's like one and a half percent if they buy a product that wasn't the click. So again, if I was recommending this Energizer battery here, someone clicked on the, the link for the Energizer battery, but they wound up buying a I don't know, pacemaker comes to mind. We'll say, um, we'll say uh, sticky notes, you get paid 1.5% uh, for the sticky notes and not 4%. So that can have a huge impact on the amount of money that you made. Also, I have taken Google AdSense off of my, my largest site. So whatever money, whatever pocket change I was getting then, I've taken it down. So we'll talk about the amount of money that I've made to date with affiliate marketing and the various different strategies that I've, I've used. I'll talk about that in the one year anniversary. Um, I'll be able to give you a better idea of how much money I've made to date. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe if you are interested in, in this type of content. Uh, ask me questions below. I think I've responded to every single question for the most part. Um, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.